There is some new fallout from a gas leak that is prompting major health concerns in a San Fernando Valley community. Tonight, residents in Porter Ranch met to talk about legal action on a number of fronts. KCAL 9's Jennifer Kastner has more. Who knows when the next well is going to fall? So what do you think is going to happen to your property value here? Upwards of 150 victims of the Porter Ranch gas leak showed up to a meeting tonight to hear how they could take legal action. It's leaking out now. It's harming people. It's damaging your property values. And we shouldn't be here at all. This was organized by the France Law Group, one of the firms looking to represent the thousands of residents who may be seeking compensation from SoCal Gas Company and Sempra Energy. They have won a number of cases, and that impresses me. Residents have reported having nosebleeds, headaches, nausea. Well, I've had a lot of fatigue. And I'm using an inhaler now, which I haven't used in four years. The president of Save Porter Ranch is leading the fight against Hidden Creek Estates, a proposed development of homes that would eventually be built here in the Porter Ranch community. He says the city of L.A. keeps approving permits for the project, even though L.A. County supervisors have formally declared a state of emergency and people are relocating. Porter Ranch and the gas company cannot handle this current problem with the current residents that we have. How are we Going to handle another huge development when the next problem comes around. Still circulating is this disturbing infrared video that possibly indicates the presence of methane. And last week, students said goodbye to their Porter Ranch campuses for now. Out of safety concerns, they're being relocated to schools that are further away. We reached out to the city councilman who's been working with the developers of this new housing project to ask why it is still moving forward right now. We're still waiting for a response. In Porter Ranch, Jennifer Kastner, KCAL 9 News.